today in the corner is Hayden Hughes. Hello everybody. Howdy, Double H. Howdy. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Now you're a, a West Texas boy. I am, I am. Born and raised. Yeah? Yes ma'am. Now, what town? Lubbock. You were born in Lubbock. Born in Lubbock, raised in Stephenville, which I guess is not really West Texas, but it's close enough. Close, yeah. But then uh, I moved back to Lubbock. Uh, I've been there for 13 years. Yeah? Yeah. So I just moved down to the Austin area about a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. Made the move like all the smart boys do. I, well, like. I'm, I'm beginning to wonder if it's, <laughs> if it's smart, but uh, <laughs> it's different. I, I wanted to go where there were trees. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that kind of is different. It is. There's trees and water, which is fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, welcome to, to the central part of Texas, I guess. Thank you for having me. Um, let's talk about your very first memory of music in your life. Can oh, wow. you think about that? Way back when? First memory. I remember I was a huge Randy Travis fan. Yeah. Um, uh, the deeper, deeper than the Holler record. Oh yeah. And I remember that one. Uh, in uh, and the Alan Jackson. Uh, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Chasing that neon rainbow. Oh yeah. So I got this idea in my head that I was going to be a songwriter, uh, you know, and, and, a, and a musician, and then I didn't even pick up a guitar for another. 15, 20 years, but uh, I had my mom take pictures of me uh, for my first album cover, and I think I was like seven or eight years old. Oh, how funny. I, I need to find it. those pictures. Yes, you do. Yeah. That would be great to see. Yeah. How funny. So, you said you were uh, a songwriter, way, or want to be a songwriter back right. then. Did you, did you write anything back then? Um, I think I did. I don't necessarily remember. I have a uh, I started writing when I was about 20. Yeah. So, I've been at it for about... 12 years now? Yeah. I had to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, so um, what was the first thing that you did write? First song I wrote was, what was it? Um, you got all these on-the-spot questions for me here. I love it. <laughs> um, it was it was, uh, it was was called Texas State of Mind. Okay. And it is horrible. <laughs> Horrible. You know how many times in this corner we have had people say it was horrible. It was horrible. But you had to start somewhere. Well, yeah, and you know it's funny because uh, when I when I first started playing those, of course, all my friends want to hear those that old stuff, and I can't, I can't stomach it. I can't yeah. even think about it in my head. You know. That's hilarious. Yeah. Well, like I said, you got to start somewhere. Though. Right. So you honed your craft. I'd like to think so. Yeah. Well, you, you, you're you're always honing, I guess. Well, it is something that you constantly work on, I would right. assume, yeah. Right. Um, was there someone, a another musician or singer-songwriter that uh, you looked up to that um, you kind of my, took some of their style from? Or? My favorites, uh, I grew up on Guy Clark, uh, uh, John Prine, Chris Christopherson, uh, and, and those were those were the ones that I, you know, kind of hung my hat on. But then uh, what really got me wanting to play music was uh, my, my cousin and my uncle, we'd have family campouts every year, uh -huh. and they would play guitar, and I thought, uh, well, you know, I, I could probably do that. Yeah. So that was fun. I, you know, that, that's, that's kind of the reason why I started writing, was just to, just to go there one year and kind of take them by surprise and say, hey, guess what I learned how to do. So yeah. That was the main reason, but yeah, that, you know, the songwriters were a big influence in my life. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, now, when did you start your first band? Four years ago? Yeah? Yeah, four years ago. That's a totally different level. It is, it is. It was uh, It was different. You know, I'd spent about a year playing uh, acoustic. Uh-huh. And, you know, just any place that would basically pay for my bar tab. Yeah. You know, which was great for a 21-year-old, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was the big deal. Uh, but then, uh, yeah, I got to gotta put a... I, I didn't necessarily put a band together. I, I paid money to have a band put up with me and it was <laughs> in hindsight I can see them now saying oh god this is going to be one brutal show yeah but, uh, well but it worked out as yeah. a matter of fact two of those original members are still in my main band out of Lubbock there you go yeah so when you're doing shows um some of those guys coming back in from Lubbock and and it playing. depends on where we're playing the kind yeah. of venue you know if, if it's got to be on I'll bring them down from Lubbock. Yeah. Uh, if not, you know, I've found that when you hire musicians out in the in the central Texas area, they're really talented, but 
but they've got a lot of people they work with. And, yeah. And, and you know, it's understandable. They're not going to know your stuff and your ins and outs of the way you uh, put your show on. So. Right, right. Okay, well, let's talk about your first album. Okay. Um, uh, first album was released in 2010, and it was self-titled Hayden Hughes. And uh -huh. there's 15 tracks on it, and we, we spent about a year and a half making it. So. Yeah. It was it was interesting, and I'm really proud of that first album. But you know, I, I, I it's one of those things you listen back to it and you think, oh, we probably shouldn't have put that one on the record. But yeah, yeah. So now, but you have another one now. I do. Well, we actually have. I've, I've got one that we released out last year. It's called Claremont Jail. Uh huh. Uh, and that's uh, of course out on iTunes. And what else is there? Amazon. All the all the all important the places. stuff. All yeah. the fun stuff. But uh, we're we're finishing up a third one. Cool. And I recorded it uh, up in Love It with John Taylor. Okay. And I've got a you know fantastic kind of do it all you know musician, and he's also doing the engineering and producing. His name's Brian McRae. Okay. Yeah. And so that one is you're wrapping it up and getting it finished, but we you've released stuff off of it. On we have. We released one single. We just released it. Um, uh, uh, recently. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Recently. Yeah. Like real recent. <laughs> uh, it's when the highway is home. Okay. And that's the that's the title track off this new album. Tell me about that single. <sighs> well, it's a great song. Well, duh! <laughs> <laughs> no, I really like it. You know, <clears throat> it's one of those songs that kind of uh, portrays the uh, the ins and outs of holding a relationship when you're spending so much time on the road and just kind of how difficult it is. So. Can't even imagine. Yeah. That's not easy. Yeah. Are you, is this written in uh, from your point of view or from the person that's being left at home? Uh, from my point of view, but it, it's, I'm trying to explain why why it is that I feel uh, that it's necessary for me to go out there and do what I'm doing. Yeah. So, yeah. Was it tough to write? I, I think it's tough for a lot of the exes to hear. <laughs> Yeah, I well, that's tough to write, you know. Yeah, yeah. I like to, I like to say, you know, when I write my songs, it's sometimes I might put too much information in there, but you know, it always comes from the heart. So. Right, which is what I understand is the most important part, anyway. I hope so. Yeah. If it's not, then I'm in trouble. Yeah, a lot of people are. Right. <laughs> okay, so what do you have on the horizon? I guess finishing up and getting that album out is right. Most we're uh, we're in the mixing and mastering stage right now, uh, and so. You know, I hate to put an artificial deadline on on yeah. when that. I don't know why that comes out like that, but it seems like everybody's got an artificial deadline. So we're just going to take our time with it, and hopefully, hopefully here real real soon we'll get that out. But we've got a video that's coming out um, with when the highway's home. Okay. So that'll be that'll be good. And John Taylor from Lubbock actually did that. Uh, was that your first attempt at a video? First attempt at a video, yeah. Yeah, did it you was like fun. it? Was it a fun process? It's a little nerve wracking. It's kind of like this, you know, when you got cameras on you, it's hard to uh, it, it's hard to keep going with what you need to go. You yeah, know, just being yourself and it's difficult. And still portraying. Right. Yeah, I right. understand. It but is. it was fun. They made it real easy, and and we might have had a few lemonades during the process, which made it. <laughs> All right. Okay, I, I like that. Okay, so tell everybody where they need to go to find out more about the upcoming album, where you're playing. You can go to HaydenHughes.com, and that's uh, the last name is H-U-S-E. Uh, of course, you can go to Facebook, Twitter. I'm bad about using those things, but they tell me uh, I have to, and uh, it, and then some some of the things I put on there, they say, yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe not, not so much. much. <laughs> understand that completely yeah sometimes you just there's a line I think that some people get over I'm getting to the point why I, I really enjoy crossing that line yeah yeah it's more fun huh it, it is more fun yeah <laughs> okay so HaydenHughes.com right Facebook Twitter and all the other fun places right okay well thank you for coming to the court thank you and I know you're south of Europe I'm down if I'm fire gasoline